Sad day today with the passing of little Richard. Uh, we're gonna do a little tribute video for him. We got Tutti Fruity. Here we go. I'll play all the parts right off the top here. Uh, I'll go back through, give you a little more explanation if you need that. Um, at the very end, I'll put all the tabs full screen so you can check it out. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so we kick off with the chorus progression. Um, chorus and verse are pretty similar. Uh, it's going to start with F, okay? And I'll just show you the straight up chords, and then I'll get into some advanced method later. Uh, so it'll just be F chord. We're going to go for about four measures of this F chord, okay? And you can just wail away on it. It's, you know, big rocking song, so get nuts with it. From there, we're gonna to go to a B flat. Okay, it's this basic kind of blues progression we got here. Drop it down a set of strings, so we're B flat, one on the A or the three on the D, G, B there. Uh, this will do a couple measures. Back to the F for a couple. Now we'll jump up to the C, three on the A, five on the D, G, B. Uh, with this, we're just gonna do one measure. Back down to the B flat, so just take that down two frets. And then back to the F. And when we get to this F, at the end, we'll do a measure of it, and then the second measure we do it, we hit it once, and then we just cut, rest, because there's a little vocal line right there, okay? And like I said, the verse progression, pretty close to, you know, like the first half of the chorus here. It's just there's some more dynamics involved. So we'll just kick it off with that same uh, four measures of F. Okay, to the B flat for a couple. To the F for a couple. And here's where it gets different. Um, we're going to do three just kind of dynamic stops with the F. Okay, so just... Okay, just like that. And uh, we just leave out the fourth one. It's just a rest all the way through that where we would do a fourth one because there's the vocal line. So pretty close to the chorus. Just some little dynamics involved there. All right, now I want to get the saxophone solo kind of interpreted for guitar here. Um, it's not going to be a whole lot. It's just going to be bounced around with two or three notes here. Uh, kick it off at four on the high E. Just hit a couple times, cut it. A little vibrato there, that's nice. Um, then we'll go a couple of fours, six B. All right. Um, we're going to bounce between those notes again. Go six B, couple fours. Then we go six, four, six on the B. Okay, it kind of follows the vocal there. Um, keeps it going, four to six on the B, back to the four E. Okay, four E, six B. All right, kind of do that vocal line again, the six B, couple fours E, six, four, six B. Okay, we'll hit 6B, do a little bend on 6 of the E, 
release it, hit the 6E, come off to 4, and then uh, 6B a couple times, 4B, 5G back to the 6B. And now this more advanced method that I showed at the very top there, um, it's basically just that, you know, blues uh, 6 riff, you know, where um, you got like the power chord, right, the one on the E, 3 on the A, and we're just going to add that 6th, uh, which, you know, in this case would be the 5th fret on the, the A there. We're just bouncing between that. Okay, just do that for the whole F. Kind of a stretch. Um, and same thing with the B flat, just down a set of strings, you know, going between the three and the five on the D while keeping that one on the A. And then you get to the C, just bring that up two frets. So we're bouncing between the five and seven on the D with the three on the A. You know, and you could just insert those riffs uh, when you're doing those chords. Thanks for checking out the video, everybody. Like it, share it, leave a comment. It's always good to hear from you. Um, do me a favor and hit the subscription button. I put out a video pretty frequent, so you don't want to miss out on that. Uh, check out the links in the description box below. I have really cool links for uh, tablature books, all the gear I use, t-shirts, fun stuff like that. So thank you very much, and we'll see you next time.